Hello everybody. In this video I will show you a viewing device that can view the magnetic field in 3D. So I have here a glass container that is filled with water-based lubricant and some ferrofluid. This is the black stuff you see. And underneath I have a stack of magnets. So yeah, if I just um, remove the magnets, you will see it influences the ferrofluid and it forms these kind of spikes and yeah you have probably seen this ferrofluid performance before with magnets and ferrofluid but what's interesting with this device is that the ferrofluid moves um, slower than usual because of the high viscosity of the other fluid uh, of the other liquid that it's swimming in so what I'm going to do now is I will place the ferrofluid up like here and then I will draw kind of a circle around it and place it evenly. So let me just do that off camera. So now I've placed the ferrofluid evenly around in a circle and if I place the magnet underneath you will see this cool effect where strings of ferrofluid just flow down and yeah, uh, vortex-like pattern. You see it forms kind of a, a funnel. And it's not quite even as you can see because yeah, it depends on how far the ferrofluid um, went down on the wall before it could get actually drawn in by the magnetic field. So yeah, it's not always quite even, it depends on how evenly you um, suspend the fluid on the side walls. So I will do it again. Let me just do that off camera again. So this time I've placed it a bit further up. And if I bring it close here, you will see again how the blobs start to form and then they drop in always in the same kind of pattern that you see here it looks kind of amazing so if you imagine what you see here is just one half of the toroid so everything where there's no ferrofluid on the sides would be uh, yeah, one half of the toroid. And then you have this vortex of ferrofluid that forms inside here. So I will place it again, um, but this time I will place the ring of ferrofluid lower down. So now I've placed it lower down and if I attach the magnet you will see the it will be attracted much faster and it also forms this vortex shape and if you look closely at the center of it you will see fine small particles of ferrofluid rise up from the center and also do form kind of a vortex like pattern inside the outer vortex I can't see it that good now so I will just try it again maybe you can see it better this time so try it again and you can see it coming down really clearly and now look right at the center there is like a cloud of fine particles rising up and forming yeah, kind of a vortex pattern right in the center. I don't know how you well you can see this, but I think from here you can kind of get an idea. It's not very good visible on the camera, unfortunately. But anyways, this was just to show you um, one of many things you can do with this field viewer. So let me oh, come over to the next example. And for this, I use 
a big ferret ring magnet and I'll also show you something interesting you can do with this. So I just bring it close and you will see it, it rises up at first and then like this I can trap, uh, well you can see it sorry, <laughs> you can trap a bubble of ferrofluid. Uh, I lost it. Let me do it again. Okay, let's do it again. Like this. You should be able to see it. I have to move the glass vial always to the, or I have to move the blob always to the center. And depending on how I change its position, you can see it wanders off. But yeah, I can place it just so that it will always float. So just right at the center of this magnet, this um, ferromagnetic blob that you can see here floating will just stay here on top and is not attracted. It's like trapped in the center here. And over time it will wander to one side and will finally be attracted. But if I just move the glass container to counteract this movement and the movement is really slow I can trap it like this I think this is really cool if I remove the magnet you will see it forms kind of a sphere sitting right at the center like this and I will try to catch it again like this you could see. And now it's trapped again in here and forms this neat little spike. I think this is pretty cool. So yeah, I've also got another array of magnets here. This would be our Halbach arrays and i will show you in the next video how these uh, different arrays that i showed in my last video will um, what fields they will form and what you can see under the magnetic viewing film with this so thanks for watching and goodbye